Ooh, okay. I think you need to be well prepared. So it's important to tell your loved one, your friends, your families, your colleagues, you're going away. I mean, if it's a weekend, fine, right? If your company, you have a good culture of disconnect, not talking about work. But I just think about um, we are working in university. A lot of people work in the evening, work in the weekend, which is terrible. Um, but it's important to let people know you are away and, and prepare for that. So when they... This, I think it's very important to let those people know and don't need to worry about you, but also let your, yourself do not worry about they will worry about you, right? And I think it's, that, that is kind of make you at ease. I think that's very important. But also, I'm not sure how many people in Unplug fully lock the phone away. I'm not sure to have the data on that or not. Um, but I, our research to find out in order to fully experience the the maximize the experience of digital free holiday or digital detox, you need to fully lock your phone away. Go cold turkey. I think that's so important because we did a couple of experiments to try. Let's, um, sometimes we go on holiday, we try to do it um, unplugged during the day and then check the phone in the evening. But technology is so powerful on you. When you check, for, let's say check for 15 minutes, end up checking uh, half an hour, end up with uh, one hour, end up with, okay, let's just leave it for the morning for next day. So you need to find a good balance to negotiate with technology. When you're on holiday, why don't you just lock it away? And I think setting the boundary is so important. And also to be, the third uh, recommendation I will give is to be open-minded. So open-minded with new experience. Don't uh, judge the experience when it comes saying, okay, you get lost, you feel frustrated, and that's so annoying. I want to get my phone back, right? Maybe getting lost is a good thing. You're going off the beaten track, you're finding new places, or you're thinking about, wow, so annoying. I can't really check the nice restaurant, which restaurant is good to go. I can't check the advisor, it's so annoying. Maybe it's good to really explore some nice places, right? It's, or sometimes the, the places are not in the trip advisor or sometimes have very bad rating, actually provide the most authentic and nice experience you have. So be open-minded, negotiating the reward and punishment. And I think this is a good way to, a uh, good mindset to go into uh, unplug experience. Love it. Well, that was a very good list. So I'll, I'll echo a few of those points. But I think, uh, I mean, first on the data, we, so we, we, we do survey this. We get 65% lock it away completely. 25% say they check it a couple of times and 10% just don't bother. And the it's the it's the ones who lock it away completely where we get the feedback like that was life changing. Uh, you know, again, every now and again, someone doesn't sit well with it, but like th those are the ones that are like the most transformative. Um, and you know, we still get people who go and they're like, had no intention of locking their phone, had a lovely time, love the cabin, loving, you know, you're still in nature, it's, it's a great cabin. Um, but I think, there is just something very different. And I say, yeah, the, the first point is exactly what Wendy said, which is, you know, it, it, just just try and do it 100%. Because as soon as there's some, I can't remember the, something like as soon as you check your phone once, you're 60% more likely to check it again in the next few minutes. It's that kind of syndrome. where like one, you have a biscuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once you've done it once, then the floodgates just open. Yeah. So just, just, just don't even do the first time. And I think the second would be a really important point for that is is the preparation and it's just making sure that you've removed all the reasons you would have for checking your phone so you know if you're like oh but i you know, need my phone to get around it's like well f figure out whether you can read a map we were speaking about this from from your state uh and you know just make sure you have all of those things nailed down you know if you need an, if you need an alarm in the morning get an alarm clock it's all of these little things because again if you just have that excuse it's, it's easy to be like oh, just check this and then an, Instagram notification pops up and then it's all gone. And the other thing I think is just have like things you're excited about away from the phone. So I think if you're just sat there thinking about like, can't check my phone, can't check my phone and, and what do I do now? But if it's like, I think the people who really love it or like really excited for a certain hike or they're really excited to read a book that they've been waiting to read for ages. And so just, just having these things in place that just give you some structure and something to, to, to get on with so you can get past the, the 24 hour withdrawal symptoms is, uh, is key.